So fungus and bacteria, what types of skin can conditions do those cause? So we do see a lot of um, ringworm, um, which are t uh, tinea type reactions mm -hmm. from the fungus. Um, kids with atopic dermatitis will um, have these more often because that barrier is compromised again. Sure. Um, it's, it's common in wrestlers, so a lot of contact. Um, they tend to kind of keep giving it to each other, basically, um, if the treatment is incomplete. And sometimes they don't, the treatment can be, let's say, a month of using a topical cream. Okay. And what happens a lot of the times is they'll see it improve with two weeks of treatment. So then we stop the treatment, they stop the treatment, and then they'll get it again. So um, we're It just warm. becomes a vicious cycle, doesn't it? Right. Right, and then you can get it in certain places. So um, you can get tinea corporis, which is ringworm. That can happen anywhere. What they showed in the video is actually tinea pedis, which is where you get a fungus in between the toes. That happens a lot also, um, and moisture has to do with that too. And a funny thing about that, or not funny, it's just interesting, is that sometimes you will pass it from the toes to the groin area when you put on your underwear. So oh it happens a lot goodness. with men. Um, and I do tell a lot of my adult patients also, if you have um, a fungus um, in between your toes, you have to be careful when you put on your underwear, make sure to give it some space for your foot so that you don't pass it to the groin.